Hi everyone, in this video I want to take you to 10 places to eat in Genova, Italy. The first few recommendations are Genovese local and Italian food and the others are going to be eating places like sushi, Indian food and kebab. Hi everyone, I'm in Genova, Italy and I want to take you to a few places to eat in this beautiful city. Come with me. The first place we are going to try food is called La Lanterna Trattoria. Here I took some ravioli di pesce al pesto, inside this type of pasta called ravioli there is fish and it's covered in this green genovese local sauce. I got some bread to clean my plate and for my second dish I got some clams, also known as cozze in Italian. The second place I went to is called Il Genovese. They offered me some pesto and bread. It was really, really good. For my starter, I took some fried fish and vegetables. This is a cuculi genovese, really soft and tasty. Then for my first dish, I took some gnocchi di patate with pesto. And for dessert, a mix of chocolate, coffee and focaccia. <laughs> I paid 34 euro in total. I recommend you to go to Il Genovese if you visit Genova. But if you want to be frugal, then I have a tip for you. The trick here is to go to any pesto shop, take it to your Airbnb or at home and mix it with your pasta. This way you'll save a lot of money and you'll eat really really well. At Genovese, a plate of pasta with pesto is 12-13 euro. But here you grab your pesto for 8.50 euro and then you grab some pasta at Inns or any other grocery shop which is extremely cheap, like it's less than 1 euro. So you save a lot of money doing that. I found Cremeria Buona Fede at Via Luccoli in Genova and I'm going to have my breakfast here. Prendo questo con la panna e poi un cornetto anche. La focaccia per me? Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Ciao. Saluti dalla Ciao. buona fede. I got a croissant with chocolate in it and a donut with double cream. This is my view and this is Cremeria Bonafede. I feel like having something salty and for that there is focaccia which is typical here in Genova. It's like white bread, white pizza. More oily the focaccia is, the better it tastes. For my focaccia I came to Panificio Mario. Posso avere due focacce? E poi? E basta, grazie. Grazie signora. Grazie. I'm back home to have my focaccia genovese and it smells good. Mm. It's crispy on top and oily. The good thing is I bought another one. I have another one to devour. My fingers are oily. If you have oily fingers, it's a good sign. When it's hot in Genova, a good place to go to is Il Siculo, where you can get really good ice cream for really, really cheap. Il 
buono da 1 e 3 uh, quanti gusti posso prendere? 3 ok prendo quello allora credo che prenderò uh, pistacchio, nocciola, yogurt This is my ice cream, three flavors, I paid one euro. If you don't believe me, here's the evidence. One euro for an exquisite ice cream. The flavors that I got are pistachio, nuts and yogurt. Oh no, look, my ice cream fell off. I'm joking, that wasn't mine. Another place to eat here in Genova is at Mercato Orientale, aka Mog. Mercato Orientale is a food market very similar to Camden Town in London. At Mog you'll find Italian food such as pizza and pasta but also sushi, Peruvian, Kenyan food and you'll find a meat corner to get a panino. Pizza Genovese e pasta. I spent 12 euro in total for that Genovese pizza pricey but my stomach is very satisfied we are going to try some particular italian pizza at stracchino yeah. that pigeon is looking at my food he keeps coming back i had to change place and come back inside because that pigeon was harassing me. I took benvenuti al sud pizza which is covered in pesto and stracchino. For my second dish I took a taschina which means pocket. It's filled with cheese, tomato and pesto. Total amount spent is 15 euro. I wanted some dessert and the music distracted me. I don't think there is any time for dessert. There's a party going on! The next place is Monte di Noè, where you can get a kebab. Monte di Noè, here at Genova, near Piazza de Ferrari. It was recommended to me by my colleagues and now I'm recommending it to you. I paid my kebab 5 euro and 50 cents. Ta -da! The fact that I was fasting today, it's going to make it even more delicious. My kebab is bleeding! A good place to have unlimited numbers of sushi is Nom. The prices, as you can see, differ at lunchtime. It's cheaper than dinner. This is what I ordered for now, but I'm going to order a lot more sushi. I took myself on a solo date here uh, Nom Sushi. My friends couldn't make it so I decided to come to Nom Sushi and enjoy sushi on my own. My table is getting full. Here is my beer. My beer. I'm joking, it's a uh, tea. I am so full. Well, this is Kohinur. I got lamb birani, some naan, butter chicken, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Also, I'm watching Indian matchmaking. I'm going to eat Indian food and I look like an Indian person. How Indian is this evening? I'm about to open my butter chicken. 
now it's the birani's turn nice what i really like about this birani is that the chicken is tender which i really really like bon appetit very well made but not like my parents make my parents birani is oof I'm so glad I'm not sharing it with anyone. Believe it or not, I still have some birani and butter chicken left. Also a small piece of naan that I'm going to take at work so I don't have to cook tomorrow. Total amount I spent is 32 euro, excluding delivery. My video ends here. Before closing everything, I wanted to say that my favorite place to eat is at home by doing some grocery shopping, eating well and saving money. Um, but if I had to choose between those places that I recommended is La Lanterna Trattoria. Let me know if you try these places or you, you want to try them in the comments section below and I'll see you all in the next one.